Oh, it was so nice of Joe Biden to take a nice trip to the Midwest. No, not to the Waukesha um, tragedy site. No, nothing like that. He's going to go to Minnesota. Why? To go participate in the Kim Potter trial that's starting? Uh, that lady, you know, taser, taser, taser. Oh, God, I fucking shot him. That lady, uh, jury selection is going on right now. And it's, uh, it's a thing. I've been paying attention to it a little bit, and that trial should be starting up next week, so that'll be something to, I guess, kind of maybe look forward to. It's something like that. She seems to be grossly overcharged, so that one's just going to end up being um, kind of a nice way to end the year where she's probably going to end up just um, not being convicted of any of the charges. It's, we'll go over it when the, when the trial starts up anyways. But yeah, no, no, Joe Biden was going to Minnesota in order to say that there's no supply chain problem, but in order to fix the supply chain problem, you need to hurry up and pass the Build Back Better plan he's a fucking idiot and it's weird right minnesota it's one of the bluest fucking states in the entire union it's gone democrats since i think the last time that they voted for a republican was during the landslide of the, the uh, nixon re-election like they were the only state to vote for fucking walter mondale okay this is like it, deep blue a democrat area and even they had fuck joe biden and you suck signs out there for the fucking crispy old cracker president joe biden received an ugly welcome in the land of ten thousand lakes on tuesday when his motorcade passed dozens of protesters that held vulgar signs dissing the commander-in-chief uh, some of the demonstrators waved campaign flags for former president donald trump who's very very unpopular and you know what oh he's such a bad man yeah he's Oh, the world is going to be shocked in 2024, and I can't fucking wait for it. One side said, fuck Joe Biden, or was it FJB, or was it actually fuck Joe Biden? Um, Because we got a picture of some of the signs that are there. Trump's still president. Oh, I'm sorry. Trump is still my president. I didn't see the, the smaller verbiage that's on there. Uh, build back broke. Fair enough. Uh, support medical freedom. Obviously, just a bunch of anti-vaxxer weirdos, right? So I guess it's not pictured here, or maybe, I don't know. Sounds like it was a fairly long, spontaneous protest, so could have just not been pictured in that uh, that very image. So, apparent oh, it was an apparent abbreviation of "fuck Joe Biden." Oh my God! A less coded version outright said "fuck you" Joe, or "fuck you Biden." Oh, I'm sorry, with the F and U in the word, a cleverly drawn to look like a middle finger. Reported White House pool correspondent Todd Gilman of the Dallas Morning News. Yeah, that's a fucking cursed outlet. Uh, a real middle finger attached to a somewhat rough-looking middle-aged man with a beard. What a what a dick! Uh, was appraised as motorcade passed, obviously, and and Joe Biden wanted to stop and change the opinion of the people that were there because obviously he went through all of that effort of finding a um, traditionally Lakers-colored tie because it's what it looks purple okay a purple and gold stripes because you remember like the los angeles lakers of the nba basketball team used to be from minnesota hence the name the lakers but yeah no um maybe vikings colors but i just more associate them with just um purple but yeah when uh, pandering's tough i suppose cool reporter also noted signs displayed various messages including you suck high gas come on man and trump still president Trump is still my president. Come on, he didn't even get it right. I guess reading's not that important if you're going to be a journalist. But to be fair, come on, there's got to be some supportive signs that are out there, right? No? Oh, okay. At least one person wore a shirt reading Let's Go Brandon. Oh my God! Large protests followed similar displays during recent Biden trips to other states where he won last year's presidential election. Very organically and very honestly, too. I, I've been reaffirmed of that. In fact, it was fortified including uh connecticut hmm weird uh new jersey huh didn't they vote like 30 points for joe oh well uh, that uh remorse sure is a bitch and massachusetts same thing applies appropriate uh the president's approval rating has slumped amid a uh, slumped is one way to put it a series of setbacks include the highest inflation in 31 years and a resurgence in covid cases and to be fair you know what you can't just totally lay that at the feet of biden can you actually stop a virus well he campaigned on the back of thinking that he had a plan so you know what hey if you want to hang your hat on that one you also got to hang that rope that's around your neck on that as well last week a nantucket man flipped biden's motorcade the bird <gasps> oh my god the horror 
On Thanksgiving, and at least one house near Biden's vacation home in Massachusetts Island had a Let's Go Brandon banner hanging in public view. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, Joe's eyesight isn't that good, so he probably didn't even know what the fuck it said. In September, North Jersey residents heckled Biden. Oh, I remember talking about this. And uh, gave his motorcade middle fingers. <gasps> He's so popular, though. Resign, you tyrant, said one man, one based man, as uh, Biden toured the storm-damaged neighborhood. What did he do to help? Well, he was there, he showed up, and I'm sure he probably had an appropriate tie, but hey, guess what? We got some good news on this one, because at least according to Hunter Biden's therapist, oh, I'm sorry, therapist, he's seeking help for that problem, uh, said Joe Biden triumphed over dementia. Oh, really? <laughs> Have they listened to anything that he's been saying lately? All right. Must be one of those little victories and, you know, he's still fighting the war. Hunter Biden's therapist and confidant, Don, er, Dr. Keith Ablo, repeatedly made allusions to Joe Biden having struggled with dementia. No, come on. Uh, what kind of far-fetched allegation is that? That sounds like one of them conspiracy theories I've been hearing so much about. According to materials on Hunter Biden's laptop in The Laptop from Hell, a new book by New York Post columnist Miranda Devine. In uh, January 2019, Ablo offered a per Oh, offered to provide a tongue-in-cheek endorsement for Joe Biden's presidential campaign. Any man who can triumph over dementia is a giant. A giant pile of... Think what he could do for our nation's needed recovery, Dr. Keith Ablo. Perhaps he can help us remember <laughs> all we intended to be as people since he can now remember his address. The mock endorsement continued. Oof. Ablo was close to Hunter and also served as his one-time landlord, the book says. In February 2019, Ablo and Hunter discussed hosting a podcast together with Hunter texting Dad as our first guest. Ablo responded, uh, does he recall details, though, with the dementia and all? Oh, come on, why do you gotta be so accurate? Hunter retorted, uh, not much these days, but since it's all fake news anyways, I don't see the problem. Yeah, it could be fun. You guys could do trivia contests and just see what kind of fucking wacky shit he comes up with. That could be great. That would be so good. God, there's an alternate timeline out there where Hunter Biden has a hookers and blow podcast with his fucking therapist who obviously did a great job. And Joe Biden cracking up at the opening and closing same joke. It, it, it could be so good. The book reads, reached at his Massachusetts office, Ablo declined to comment, but once diagnosed, then Vice President Biden is having early onset dementia during the 2012 appearance on Fox News, so that background may underpin the banter. Oh, to be fair, that was back in 2012 when he said he had early onset dementia, so what, now it's full-blown, just about a decade later? Christ, that is almost a decade later. Fuck. In February 2020, the Drug Enforcement Administration raided Ablo's office. Oh, so clearly he's a coup. Ablo was never charged over the raid. Oh, okay, but they took a lot of fun things. Uh, but agents seized a second laptop bla er, belonging to Hunter that they found locked in a safe in the va in the basement. Hunter had left it behind uh, the previous February and said he had done the same in Delaware. He ignored repeated messages to pick it up. The book said, "Oh, okay, good." So the DEA just went down there to recover his laptop. Nothing to see here, folks. A poll from uh, June 2020, a few months before the election, found that 55% of likely voter, or voters sorry, believed uh, Biden is in early stages of dementia. Oh, I'm sure that's probably... You know what? I've listened to a lot of Joe Biden speeches, and that 55%, I'm sure they've been swayed in a different direction. Those numbers have got to be going through the floor, right? Oh, I'm sorry, that's his approval rating. Uh, that same month, Joe Concha, a reporter for The Hill, said, A lot of Democrats will uh, tell you, at least privately, that he does not have the mental acuity that uh, he even had a couple of years ago. What, were they watching his campaign? Well, uh, the couple of days a week that he would actually go out there and campaign. Uh, Biden rarely held press conferences during the campaign at 79. Well, he looks awfully good for... 79. Uh, Biden is now the oldest U.S. president in history, and he's only going to continue to get older. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on what kind of recipes were on one of those laptops. Uh, his term has been marked by various verbal gaps, which uh, he appears to lose his train of thought. Yeah. Yeah. Multiple occasions over the se oh, over the last several years, sorry, uh, he has seemed to forget Barack Obama's name. Gerard Obama? Yeah, of course. Instead, uh, in October 2020, apparently, he could not recall the name of Mitt Romney saying, I got in trouble when we were running against a senator who was a moron. Mormon. 
Uh, the governor, the senator from Utah, and the former governor of Massachusetts, yes, I'm Canadian and I even know that, and uh, Joe Biden is old. Uh, in March of 2021, Biden appeared to forget his uh, Secretary of Defense's name. Uh, to be fair, you know what, Lloyd Austin's a fairly complex name, right? But we could run down the gaffes over and over again, but hey, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take it from somebody who probably has first-hand, no first-hand knowledge of old Uncle Joe, Dr. Keith. You think that he's triumphed over dementia? I'm just gonna go have to get a second opinion on that. Oh, we're just gonna keep the memes flowing because we got uh, another story coming up, which doesn't have a lot to do with the news, but it has a lot to do with travel bans, and those have been coming in fast and furiously lately. In fact, uh, Canada just dropped another very racist, very awful travel ban to a bunch of different African countries out there. Won't that evil black-faced prime minister stop? I mean, oh my gosh, but we got to take a look at Israel once again. Yes, my friends, Lachaim. Uh, they have their own travel bans over there, but they have a couple of exceptions, and we got to talk about that because, you know what? I just want to have fucking fun today. So is that so much of a crime? I had to talk about a school shooter to begin with. So let's let's end the day on an up note. Certain things will be up. Uh, with that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.